It's Rhonda King and I'm at Earthworks inside our new greenhouse. It's my first time inside this beautiful new structure that we brought in to keep our house plants. And today I've got a ZZ plant that I wanted to talk about. This is a great choice for low maintenance plant inside your home. It tolerates low light. You could put it in a low light area in your, in your home or you could put it in a, a medium light situation. It doesn't want direct sunlight on its leaves. It has a late, nice glossy leaf to it. It doesn't want a lot of water. Let it dry out before you water it again. Uh, check the soil with your finger or check the bottom of the pot to make sure you're not watering a plant unnecessarily. If you're in doubt about watering this plant, don't do it. Wait until you know it surely needs some water. Inside of our greenhouse, we have the white snow Deffenbachia. This plant will grow to be about five feet tall. It's going to appreciate a humid situation in your home, so a bathroom is a great place for you to put your Deffenbachia. Uh, the Deffenbachia, again, water it when it's needed. Um, it is gonna tolerate a little bit more water than your ZZ plant. The Deffenbachia is also going to have these speckled leaves. They'll be more prominent if there's more light given to this plant. Again, it's not a direct sunlight, it's just a bright situation. So low light, this Deffenbachia will tolerate but a medium light is gonna cause your leaves to have more uh, speckles on it. This beauty is the Gold Star Dracaena. This is a common house plant, but it can also tolerate shade outside in your home. It's a tropical plant, so if we get a cold night, you wanna cover this or protect it in some way. This Dracaena doesn't like to dry out, so make sure you're paying attention to its watering needs at all times. Again, low light to medium light inside your home or outside in the shade, it's perfect. Every time somebody here at Earthworks talks to a customer about the new plant that they purchased, we always talk about water. House plants, of course need water, but the water in your tap has chlorine, fluoride, and sometimes salt because some of us have salt uh, conditioners in our homes. Those are fantastic for humans. However, they may not be beneficial to your plants. So if you've been doing everything that you're supposed to do for your plants, but they still don't seem to be thriving, or their leaves seem to be browning or suffering, Go ahead and maybe reconsider what you're doing with your water when you're feeding your plants. If you have a pond in your yard, you could actually scoop water from your pond to feed your house plants. You could also try catching some rainwater in a bucket in your yard to feed your plants, or purchasing some distilled water might be a good idea. There are just some things to consider when you're watering your house plants. Earthworks also just received a new shipment of fruit trees. Look at these beautiful citrus trees behind me. We've got nectarines and peaches, as well as lemon, lime, and orange trees in different sizes. They are spectacular. If you wanted to put a tree in your yard, you're thinking about putting a tree in your yard, I suggest a fruit tree. You could have lemon or lime, peaches, nectarines available to you year after year. A tree, as well as something delicious to eat. Come check it out. <laughs>